never mind. I'll be okay. Calvin Jones here, Park Tool Company with Tech Tuesday. It may feel like summer, but cyclocross season is upon us. Last fall, I pitted at a local race and was asked if there was money to be made doing this type of work. I'll share some thoughts about that question and more on this Tech Tuesday. Nope, local cyclocross race. I'm not getting paid. Anybody else was here, they wouldn't be paid either by the race. A shop may want to pay someone. So why would you want to do this kind of work? Well, it's a lot of fun for one. Whee! It's good to get your hands dirty on some new equipment and see the old equipment. There's always things to learn. Every bike you fix, there's something else going on. You pay attention, you can learn a lot. That might be lemon screw, so we're gonna come in a skosh on the limit. A shop may want to do this. They may want to pay their employee to be here. They're going to get good exposure being competent. People are going to show up. They're going to get the fix done. They're going to ask you, where are you at? What's your shop? And if you're a good shop, you'll be able to provide them a good repair. It's going to get you a good reputation. What we have here at the cyclocross race is called a double pit. So we're set up in the course where two different areas they can come in. So when you're working this, especially alone, you got to keep an eye on what's going on all the time. Very, very bad racer to enter here and cut the course that way. One of my favorite parts of cyclocross racing at the grassroots level is the GoDaddy crew. The little kids yelling, GoDaddy. Daddy!" Come on! 